This is the presentation for our inward paper, Make Sense of Sleep. Sleep is a reversible physiological state that is essential for our life, health, and performance. The lack of sleep or poor sleep has been found to be associated with a range of negative health and social outcomes. A typical night sleep of a young healthy adult consists of four to five sleep cycles. In each sleep cycle, the sleep stages went through non-rapid eye movement, as we normally call it non-REM sleep, REM sleep, and sometimes awake, although we may not realize we wake up during the sleep. Margin sleep has never been an easy task. The left-hand side pictures is the gold standard measurement, called a polysomnograph test. I slept with these sensors in a control room for one night. From my sleep report, I was astonishing. I wake up about 44 times on that night. One of the reasons is that it's so uncomfortable of wearing those sensors during the sleep. The latest sleep monitoring product and technologies can monitor sleep in a much more comfortable way. In this paper, our dataset came from sleepdata.org website. The dataset consists of 1,743 subjects, one night sleep recording with PSG and actigraph data. The details of the dataset can be seen from the sleepdata.org. Here's the data processing pipeline. We firstly extracted the RR intervals and activity counts from ECG and actigraph equipment. We then aligned them by their time steps and filtered out the missing signals. After we processed the data, we extracted the statistic features for activity count, and then we extracted the HRV features from normal to normal intervals. Here are examples of the extracting the actigraph data features. We were using two different methods of sliding window with stride length equal to one to extract the statistic features. For each sleep epoch, we extracted the 370 features from the activity counts. Here we show you an example of window length equal to five. For heart rate variability, we extracted the HRV features from the non-overlapped window that includes 30 seconds normal to normal intervals that are corresponding to one sleep epoch. The extracted features were concatenated for training machine learning methods. In our work, we systematically evaluated the traditional machine learning models and several baseline deep learning models. For deep learning models, we adopted the sequence to label structure. For each sleep epoch, we're using um, the centered sliding window with stripe equal to one to pick up the features and then input them into the CNN and LSTM networks. As a benchmark work, we only use the networks with a single layer. In this study, we have two evaluation strategies, the sleep epoch wise and also subject level evaluation. We also propose a new metric called time deviation to understand how algorithms systematically underestimate or overestimate the total minutes of each sleep stage on population level, or technically, we can understand it as the mean of the bears. In this table, we highlighted the best performing algorithms for three-stage sleep classification from different modality combinations. As we can see from the table, the best performing algorithms is seen in 101, based on 50 and a half minutes window length. We also proposed an ensemble method to combine multiple deep learning classifiers to improve the prediction performance. Those different types of neural network classifiers provide a diversified information for the final prediction by giving different window lengths. Here, we only show um, the best method for three-stage classification. We found this method can improve the performance significantly in terms of the F1 score. Moreover, we also propose to use the shape method on random forest to gain better understanding of how features contribute to classification of a particular sleep stage. As you could see from the slides, as we increased the granularity of the sleep stages, the HRV features becoming more and more important. 
So far, this is the largest sleep stage classification study using the data that may be extracted from research-grade variables. And you can find more information from the GitHub link.